Extreme heat, more than just summer weather. Gernot Wagner says it's a sure sign that climate change is here. We know this, right? Mm -hmm. He's a climate economist at Columbia Business School, and he joins us this morning. Thanks so much for being with us, mm -hmm. Professor. First thing, tell us what exactly is a climate economist, and why do we need them? Well, it's an oxymoron, right? You are either for the climate or for the economy. But, uh, well, no, right? Um, we know that you know, misguided market forces are the cause of climate change, burning fossil fuels, um, not paying for the cost. Um, and the solution lies in paying for the cost of those fossil fuels. And yeah, you know, that's what economists do. Right. OK, thank you for that explanation. So here in New York and New Jersey, we are in the 90s. London just had its highest temperature ever at 104. I mean, the tarmac is melting there. Planes can't land. It seems as though the infrastructure simply cannot withstand this extreme heat. What kind of damage overall is this causing? Uh, plenty, right? So, I mean, yes, it's hot, <laughs> really hot, which, just to be clear, is dangerous, right? People die. Um, and yes, there are massive economic consequences as well. Um, productivity declines, right? Obviously. And yes, that has measurable impacts on the economy as well. And all of it put together, of course, is really, really bad. And yes, it's fossil fuels that do the damage. And, and let's talk about some of the other areas where we see the economic impacts. What comes to mind are the crops that are changing dramatically. We're seeing wildfires that are eating up more of our farmland. We're seeing problems with water. There is an adverse effect, especially on lower income people as well. Talk about that. Absolutely. Well, OK, so right, it's the usual story. The rich adapt, buy a second air conditioner. It's the poor who suffer. Um, and it's also true, of course, that the poor are often in jobs that are more exposed to extreme heat. Right. I sit in my office. I draw the shades. Right. Mm -hmm. um, that's a good adaptation measure for everyone. Well, if your job forces you to be outside, uh, you are not quite as lucky. Mm -hmm. So what kind of impact could all of this heat have on the inflation we've already been experiencing? Um, well, <laughs> to be clear, climate change itself right, does, in fact, mean that we need to spend more money to adapt. And uh, yes, there are economic impacts. It's also true, of course, that when we do the right things, install solar panels, heat pumps, and so on, and save on fossil fuels, we are also addressing the inflation question. Professor Wagner, how much of the world is going through this? We know the tri-state has the heat wave. We know that the West experiences and the South experiences extreme temperatures. We've seen it across Europe. Is there any place that actually escapes from this? Uh, not really. I mean, you look at Alaska right now, and it is, yes, it's more or less escaping. It is you know, below average temperatures. Um, but frankly, you know, Europe, the U.S., on average, you know, is rich enough to, in fact, adapt. Um, India has had heat waves for months now. Um, and yes, that's uh, a fifth of humanity living in conditions um, that are, frankly, too hot to cope. Mm -hmm. We simply have to turn the tide. It's time. A climate economist, Gernot Wagner from Columbia Business School, thank you so much for your insights and being with us this morning. We appreciate it.